Yes, lads, welcome back to another custom tactics video on the channel. Today, we are going there again. We're taking out a look at another five back. It's the 5 2, two one. Let's get into it. Does your team look like this? Do you struggle to complete those game changing SBCs and play with the best players in FIFA 23? If you said yes to any of this, then you need to get over to AOA and secure yourself some cheap and reliable foot coins and use code ALP at checkout for an extra 3% off. Jeez. So jumping in with a defensive style, we leave this on balanced and five backs are always unbelievable press informations. I don't know why, they're just so good. And obviously they spring back into a really solid five block at the back. But we leave it on balance for the most part just because it helps with your positioning. It also doesn't kill your stamina, which is important in this game because when your stamina starts draining late on in games, you know, it is a struggle. The width. It's a five back, so we're playing 35 on the width. It keeps it all tight in the middle. It keeps the centre backs uh, close together. You don't want to have big gaps in your centre backs, otherwise that's where people are going to pick through. And obviously the, the wing backs will cover wide anyway, so 35, even 30 um, is perfect, but I, I like 35. The depth, I'm playing 60 for this. It's perfect. I tried 65. Uh, it's not too much of a difference. It obviously, a bit, it pushes a bit higher up the pitch, but I find you get caught on like too many counters with that. I hold the ball quite a lot, so it's... Uh, um, I was finding I get hit on the counter quite a bit, so 60 is perfect. But definitely play with this one if you're unsure or if you're struggling to defend in it then definitely lower the depth to 55, 50, you know, it just, just have a play with it. Build a play is balanced and direct passing. It's the best in the game. If you're not using it, you are literally you putting yourself at a disadvantage, like genuine, like if you're, if, if you're not using these two, then yeah, you're probably sacrificing a few ranks in weekend league width. We leave on 50. Doesn't really make a difference the way it's set up. You get width from the wingers and you get width from the full backs. So it's perfect. Plays in the box, we whack up to seven, helps those wingers get in the box. That's where we want them. And it helps the full backs get involved with the play also. Corners one, free kicks one. We're just trying to limit how often we're getting smashed on the counter attacks. Formation, because you've got three centre backs there at all times, you, it is a lot better defending against the counter attacks, which is super meta at the moment, which is nice. So let's dive into the instructions, the important bit. So, as you see on as this picture, it's, it's quite spread out. Like Unlike the 3 4 2 one where you got the centre forwards right next to the striker, um, without these instructions, your striker can be a little bit isolated. So we have the striker on stay central, get in behind. Very important for a central striker. Just, just It is the most meta setup for your strikers in this game, whether you've got two strikers or one striker, it's the best. The wingers, so to get hit them closer to Mbappe, um, to get them closer to Mbappe, we've got them on that inside, get into the box for crosses and get in behind. So cut inside, get in behind and get into the box for crosses. And that's on both wingers. We don't have them come back because, well, you could, I mean, if you were a full on rat, you could have them on, come back on defense and that would probably work okay. I just leave them on balanced for the most part. I've got plenty of bodies there. Rafinha will work his way back anyways. And I prefer to keep him up top. The two centre mids are stay back while attacking and cover centre, both of them. Um, as you can see, they're both box-to-box uh, -box midfielders, um, which I recommend for a using a three and five back. Don't have someone like Vieira. It's a clunk fest and you will struggle to get a ball out. It's just, it's just a nightmare when they can't dribble in midfield. Yaya Torre would be better off on the right-hand side as well, so we'll change that at some point. But yeah, Yaya would be better in there. Let's just change that quickly. Yaya on the right-hand side, just so we can mass, uh, smack those Travellers. And obviously then, Edward the five-star weak foot, it doesn't matter what side he's on. Center backs, you don't touch them. I will find you, and I will correct your custom tactics if you change them, especially in the three-back. You've got three of them to change. Three. Um, full backs, I've got Saka the one and Baldi on the left. Saka not a traditional for a uh, left back or right back, but he plays this position very well. Feel free to use wingers with decent defending stats at the full back. At well, at least one of them you can do it. I recommend having like one that can defend like a Balde or like a Davis. But then if you have someone like Saka, 
who's got like decent defending and um, physical stats, then they work also. To be honest, the fullbacks, they're obviously to defend, but I use them more for attack. They're on balanced and overlap, both of them. So they're going to be joining the attack every time. I did try join the attack, um, which works the same, but they get forward all the same on balance, which is nice. And then goalkeeper, it comes for crosses and sweeper keeper. So let's just get straight into a game with this team. Um, it is pretty cracked, the team. We've been running all week. This team we ran to elite with. Um, we have got that red pick to do as well at some point, which will be nice. Um, hopefully we can get a decent red. It's the whole reason we pushed is because we wanted that extra red. It has probably messed up my friendly's experience now, though, for the remainder of the season. But it is what it is, isn't it? The, the game, I think a lot of people were sandbag anyways. So Division 3 or 2 wasn't even like that easy in comparison. I mean, the elite is just Hello, sweaty. You, but Real Madrid versus Barcelona badge. This formation is pretty nuts, though. The way the wingers cut inside and then the fullbacks occupy that space, you're all in for a, a good time. Um, but obviously with uh, you are going to be called the rat for using a formation like this. But we don't use just ratty formations, you know. We, we've been uploading like four three threes, you know. It's, um, it's been a good time recently. Just uh, trying all different formations out. It's been handy for the draft and so on. My God. Let's get into this formation. Pedri is so good. I know it's going to sound like Barcelona bias, but I'm insane. The way the wingers cut inside is just huge, though, as well. One Sebastian Veron starts alongside Frank Lampard in the engine room. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in the top. This is Derek. Whoop. Oh, is it going to go in? Oh, no. I love that Rafinha card, lads. Honestly, if you've not done it, I said it in the other video the other day. He's so good. Saka right back. Surprisingly good. Oh, red timed. Deej, <laughs> get it. Oh, no. Well, the best thing about the fight back so you can't say that without sounding like a rat um, one, one of the best things about it is that you can get away with pulling one of your centre backs whereas like in a 4-3-3 you can't it's quite surprising how many bodies you get forward using this formation and I definitely recommend you give it a go um, I've been surprised how good it is I think all the five backs are good. It's just the way the, the game's formatted at the moment. Um, it just allows you to play the five backs quite comfortably. The only thing is when you do lose the ball, it's like, it takes like a few seconds for the team to spring into position. But as you can see, like look how much space you get in, the, the angles you, you get in when you're running. And then that four back's always there, top of the box. Pedri, Pedri. Oh, no. no. What? Some of the decisions in this game are mental. I do whack on, like, um, I press now and again quite a bit off, like, pick off their goal kicks when they pass it short. I do it a lot. And then when they pass my halfway line, I turn it off. I don't know. I just find it quite, quite useful. Sack it. Oh, Saka. And he could be in proper trouble here. <laughs> Pedri, Yaya. Oh, this is looking promising. Oh, I just, I just can't quite get that time. shot away. You see, Pedri's quite passionate in midfield. He's like, at, he's like, it's almost like the best of both worlds. He's like able to defend. He's quite physical. This guy's got R9, I think. He's an Air 9 merchant. Mbappe. Here we go, cover the space. Yaya Torre. Again, the World Cup version is just as good as the Titan, in my opinion, after using both. They're both incredible. The the Titans probably, if like if you were to compare it on a side-by-side -side basis, is like minutely better. Neymar is just so good though. <laughs> <laughs> his, his red Neymar from like he played like 1500 games with him and he's still incredible um, theory is that if I use him this weekend EA are going to give me his team of the season and red version as an upgrade you know what I mean see what, see what I'm thinking 
This formation is nuts. You like you slow it down a little bit. Saka is going to overlap. Saka at fullback is nuts as well. I've really, really become accustomed to loving that. Nice little voice crack for the culture. We'll leave that in the video. Who's that there? See how the mid, the forwards are going to tuck in. This guy's not really committing, so we're going to send it out wide. Driving, driving, driving. Neymar's there. Neymar with the. So he'd have enough tackers to get through them, but it was a bit tight. <laughs> no, don't let him come back on himself. And there you go. I'm not really one to like live on the count. I like to dominate the ball a bit. We're gonna send Mbappe on a run down the channel. Send that pass through. Oh, lucky boy! Is that Courtois saving him? Well, what a great save that was to keep them in there. I feel sorry for anyone that didn't do a Raulho. I see. Oh, I thought we were going to get a head across goal then. Edry's so quick though. Bruno Guimaraes. Alright, we're changing to a centre back. There you are. I think it's just knowing as well when to change into these centre backs because they are quite. Um, it's quite important. Sometimes you do have to go into centre backs. <laughs> I, I change into him quite a bit, to be honest. Probably more than I should. Uh, great tackle, Balde. I, I enjoy the Balde as well. I mean, he gives lots of links to our Barcelona past and present lads. I want to get the Dino done at some point as well. The Yaya Torre is past present as well. I would have loved... See, all these cards that I would have loved to at some point. Never, ever got lucky enough to pack one. No. A wonderful intervention. Nice. Let's see if we can get one more for half time. Mbappe. Mbappe. You just take your foot off the gas a little bit. Start creating these lines. Neymar again. Pops up. Ends the game. <laughs> so good. Honestly, how is that? Neymar. Team of the week. Neymar still so, so good. But yeah, that's probably going to be the game. Um, as you can see, it's a ridiculous formation. The way it attacks, the way it defends, is just mental. Definitely recommend you give it a go if you haven't. The five-two-two-one has become probably my one of my favorite five backs that I've tried out. Um, it is obviously a five back. It's also very sweaty. It it is probably the mess, most meta way you can play the game at the moment. If you're looking for another set of custom tactics, do I leave something that's a bit more casual, a bit more fun? To try out right here. Cheese.